Hello and welcome to episode 25 of The Freak Show. If you're looking for the previous 24 episodes, they don't exist. I started directly to 25, because I'm so super cute. I know already that nobody is interested on this tutorial, but I still uploaded it, because I want to demo some of the silver blue concepts. Speaking of which, people are asking me to do overall videos about silver blue and Oz tree. Problem is, that everything is quite different here, than any other Linux. So, it is like they're asking me to make Linux from scratch videos. Instead, I believe it is better to show various features, and hopefully people will get excited with what they see, and will try it themselves. And trust me, there is lots to be excited for, and not to mention, that Austrian flat pack started as GNOME projects, are supported from GNOME community, and GNOME has been developed for them, and therefore, everything works better here. Anyway, time for the super useless tutorial now! What we want to do here, and by we, I mean me, is to change the branding to a custom name and logo. As always, we first start by inspecting our deployments. Nothing fancy to see yet, so let's change that. Austria USR, is red only, but with Austria admin and lock option, we can create a writable overlay file system. This is intended for development and testing purposes, and all changes in the overlay are lost on reboot. However, we can pass the hotfix parameter, that it will clone the current deployment as a rollback target, and on reboot it will retain the changes we will do on the image. This functionality aims to apply temporary fixes, before those come to the actual deployment, so it is a short time solution. In any case, I will do a hotfix here, but I will only unlock and edit the image for the current boot only. If we recheck our deployments now, we will see a new flag, that we are on development mode. From now on, everything is like a regular Linux, so let's edit our house info. and test now. Ok, that worked. Now to change the logo, that GNOME has made it a bit more complex. On settings app source code, we see that the name of the logo is hard coded, so we actually need to recompile it to change it. That also means, that distros are forced to patch downstream settings app, for adding their logos. That's Fedora patches, but it should be around the same for any distro. Actually we can change the logo name, without recompile settings app, so instead we will just replace the logo image. Ok. I'm just doing a dramatic image replacement, no magic at all to see, so let me speed up the things a bit. All done. And test. And failed. And worked. And goodbye. 